Hello everybody, I'm Mint and today I'm going to show you how to install your mini original floor mats. The original mini floor mats uh, is something that I would recommend if let's say you are willing to spend $200 over dollars on car floor mats. Right, This is uh, all black, it's a uh, rubber material, it's waterproof and it's extremely durable. They also have a raised border that reliably protects the footwell against moisture and dirt. And I can find that it's very easy to maintain and clean as well. Yeah, So there's some challenges to opening the clip. Follow what I'm doing, use your thumb to press down and then use your index finger or any other fingers uh, to drag that clip out. So if you have some difficulties, uh, you know, dragging this little clip out here, right, this is exactly how you should do it, right, you can do bit by bit on each side. So uh, just try not to hurt your fingers uh, along the way, yeah. In this example, I have opened the rear set first, followed by the front set. Okay, now let's do the same for the front set. I am opening up this front set more carefully is because I want to keep the plastic so that it can hold the original floor mat that comes with the car. This little pack that comes with the front set of the floor mats uh, has a purpose for it and I'm going to show you what they are later on. Yeah, Many owners didn't notice this but that's actually a sticker that covers the brand mini on all the four pieces of floor mats. So here I am taking them out one by one. It's not always so easy because uh, they are quite snugly adhered to the brand. Right. So uh, you know a lot of times uh, we want to protect it, we don't want to take out the stickers until one day we feel like taking out the stickers, uh, it's already stuck there and you can't remove them anymore. So the same goes for all the stickers in the cars, please, please take them out, yeah? The logo that is on the left of the floor mat is for the left side of the car. When determining left or right, you will always be sitting inside the car and then you will know which side is your left and your right. There's a portion at the top of each floor mat that you can actually cut but uh, for me personally, I don't cut it because I feel that it can give me just a little bit more protection. The easiest thing about the floor mat is actually to stack up on the original mat. So this is the by left way of doing it. The by right way is to remove the original floor mats and then putting in this mini rubber floor mats. Yeah? Um, but I must emphasize the driver's side, you must never never stack up the floor mats because uh, there's no velcro to hold up the original, the upper piece of the floor mat. You can see the velcro is very strong in holding down the floor mat. Sorry for the screaming that you're hearing in the background because I'm actually doing this voiceover at home. <laughs> Okay, back to this packet, uh, it is actually the velcro that uh, holds down the floor mat so one day if it drops out, you still have extra pieces. Alright, so keep it somewhere safe. Lastly, remember to recycle the packaging because there's a lot of plastic and paper involved. And uh, of course, uh, do 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 remember to give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!